the rub is that recording uh, of the guitar and I'm going to go through every possible configuration that it has um, and I'm just going chord directly to amp no effects so we're only listening to the guitar itself I'm going to start off the veritone is at one position which is bypass and I'm going to be in the neck position pickup so uh, at first I'm only going to listen to this pickup right here and I have the volume up all the way and the tone up all the way and this is what that pickup sounds like <laughs> That's with the tone all the way up. Now let's dial it down. So that has a pretty interesting sound. Nice jazzy concept. I always love the neck pickup with the tone dialed off. Uh, and so, and let's take, let's bring this pickup in too. Okay. So now I'm doing uh, the two pickups combined. I still have the tone dialed down on this pickup, but I have this this pickup bright. <laughs> Here's the difference. Okay, now if I dial back on the neck pickup, then the bright one should kick in, right? down the tone on that back one we'll bring that in again so this is bring in just this pickup and this should be pretty bright all right it's a nice bright response there all right so now it's time to start thinking about this baritone thing right so remember I said what that is, is actually a notch filter. So if um, this is the bypass, it's not in the picture at all. I'm going to go to position two. See that difference? Really? So here's the difference. Does it bypassed? Does it end? That's position two. You can hear 
how it really brightened it up quite a bit, right? Let's go to position three. I might get the amp a little bit more boost. Position four. We'll give them all a listen. So his bypass is one, his two, his three. No, I'm sorry. Uh, four. Position four. <laughs> I had one, two, three, four. That position four has a really nice uh, has a very clear sound to it, right? Uh, let's try five. Oh, that's it's kind of cutting it a little bit, right? Here's six. Oh yeah. I think that'll be interesting. If we look at the varitone, I think tomorrow morning what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some effects in there. I'll put some distortion. I think that's going to be interesting on the varitone. Um, I'd say BB probably never got too much into that, but he might have if we actually put a little um, crunch into there, you know. Um, but I, I think I kind of tend to agree. I like that four. Four sounds really sweet, and I like three. that four here's the three the three kind of fattens it out a little bit the four clears it up here's three here's four and let's see so here's two see how it's Again, it's kind of more towards the mellow sound. There's one, the bypass. It's almost like a boost when I do the bypass. So the veritone is going to bring things down a notch, but you can almost like an EQ of sorts, like a parametric filter where I'm notching, I'm notching into what I take out and what I leave. Uh, so it's a very interesting concept. And like I said, it's very similar to uh, uh, where people do coil splitting on a humbucker, except it's not really coil splitting in that sense, but it, it's kind of like a, an EQing type of device. But yeah, it's a beautiful guitar. Um, sound all right that's it for tonight i'm going to put the thing back in its bed and let it sleep tonight and then tomorrow morning i'm going to get up kick in the effects and we'll see what she does on the uh, crunchier side of things all right